Welcome to A Thousand Books Before Kindergarten Storytime. I'm Lisa Springer, children's librarian at the Kate Waller Barrett branch of the Alexandria Library, and this is my friend Lambert. And Lambert is very excited today, aren't you, Lambert? And very well behaved, I might add. He's not always that way at the library, you know. Anyway, a couple of weeks ago, we had a show about March Lions. Today, we have a show about March Lamps. We recorded this show last year back in 2022, and watch for Lambert to make a special guest appearance. This wonderful book is in both English and Spanish. It is by Sarah Weeks, illustrated by the Caldecott Medal winning illustrator David Diaz, Counting Ovejas, Counting Sheep. And not only are we going to count the sheep, both in English and Spanish, we're going to name their colors in both English and Spanish. Counting Ovejas. by Sarah Weeks and David Diaz. Oh, it's bedtime. Buenos noches. Good night. It's time to go to sleep. But how can you sleep? There's noises. The sink's saying, pit, pit, pit. and the clock's going, tick, 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 tick. It's too noisy. Shh. Can't sleep. Guess he'll count sheep. One sheep. One white sheep. Uno abeja blanca. Adios abeja blanca. That was just one. And here come. Can you count them? One. Two, two brown sheep. Dos abejas marrones. Adios abejas marrones. Goodbye, brown sheep. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. Three black sheep. Tres abejas negras. Adios, abejas negras. Goodbye, black sheep. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Four pink sheep. Cuatro abejas rosas. Adios, abejas rosas. Goodbye, pink sheep. Oh, one, two, three, four. Let's count them actually. One, two, three, four, five. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Five, what color are they? Green sheep, that's right. Cinco abejas verdes. Adios, abejas verdes. Goodbye, green sheep. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six sheep. Six red sheep. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, six. Seis ovejas rojos. Oh, what a beautiful color these sheep are. Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, seven, siete, seven. What color are they? Do you know what that color is called? It's called turquoise. It's sort of a medium between blue and green, and it is a beautiful color. In Spanish, it's turquesas. Seven turquoise sheep. Siete ovejas turquesas. Adios, tur ovejas turquesas. Goodbye, turquoise sheep. They are pretty, aren't they? That was seven. Oh my goodness, that's a whole lot of sheep. That's a whole lot of pretty purple sheep or violet sheep, you can call them either. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. 
ocho abejas violetas. Eight purple sheep. Adios abejas violetas. Goodbye purple sheep. Even more. Yeah, even more. Oh my. That's a lot of sheep. There's so many he's having to use that machine to push them all out of his room. Can you count to nine? Because there should be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. En español. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve. Nueve ovejas. And what color are they? Azul. Yes, they're beautiful blue sheep. Adios ovejas azul. Goodbye, blue sheep. We had nine. Do you think the next one coming is what? <gasps> Ten. That's a lot of sheep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Ten yellow sheep. Diez ovejas amarillas. Ten yellow sheep. Adios ovejas amarillas. There they all go. Oh, he's counted all the way up to 10, and I think he can sleep now. Gracias, ovejas. Thank you, sheep. Buenos noches. Good night. It's really cozy to have all the sheep in your bed, doesn't it? Not sure it would give you a lot of space to turn around in, though. The end. Counting Ovejas by Sarah Weeks and David Diaz is in the Spanish language section of the library. We have a lot of books in that section that are in both English and Spanish, and we hope that you'll come and explore them. And if you can't find what you're looking for, make sure to ask. Since we're doing stories about sheep today, why don't we have a sheep song? In fact, why don't we have a farm song about all kinds of different farm animals? I know a lot of farm animal songs, but I think I'm going to let my friend Lambert pick which song we're going to do today because he's my sheep puppet. But I have to find him and I have no idea where he's gone today. Lambert, where are you? Are you over there? No, I can't find him. Are you down on the floor? Where are you, Lambert? I don't see you anyway. Wait, 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 wait. There he is. I found him. Okay, Lambert, what song do we sing today? It's going to be a song about sheep. Shall we sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm? Grandpa's Farm? How about Baba Black Sheep? No? Well, I'm running out of songs. What do you want to sing? Oh, I know what song he wants to sing. It usually starts with ducks, but today it'll start with sheep. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day this way. <laughs> Lambert! That was awful. It was rude. And it's not what sheep say. Now make a nice sheep sound. You help him, okay? Make a nice sheep sound. Ba! You see that? That's how a sheep sounds, right? You gonna be good now? I hope so. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day. When sheep get up in the morning, they always say good day this way. Ba, 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 that is what they say. They say, ba, 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 that is what they say. Now that was good. You want a little piece of imaginary carrot? Hold out your hand. Lambert's going to eat a piece of imaginary carrot that you give him too. You ready? Okay, that was really, really good. Now say bye-bye because we have other animals. You know, this is a really nice bouncy song. So you can bounce or if you have a little brother or sister, maybe they can bounce because now we'll sing about ducks. When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day. When ducks get up in the morning, they always say good day this way. Quack, 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 quack. That is what they say, they say, quack, quack, 
quack, quack. That is what they say. <gasps> Look who else I have from the farm. Now, I have a great big mama cow, but this is her little boy. His name is Ferdinand. Say hi, Ferdinand. Can you make a sound like a cow makes? You can make a great big mmm sound. Or you can make a mmm sound, because that's kind of more what Ferdinand makes, because he's a little guy. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day this way. Moo, 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 moo. That is what they say, they say. Moo, 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 moo. That is what they say. Two more puppets. And they're both the same kind of animal. Some of you might know them because they've been with me at the library for a very long time indeed. And they each can make their own sound. So you decide how they're gonna sound, okay? The dogs. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When dogs get up in the morning, they always say good day this way. Ruff, woof, ruff, ruff. That is what they say, they say. Ruff, ruff. That is what they say. Well done, dogs. Give them all an applause. Good job helping us at home. You can add more animals to this song. It's a lot of fun to sing. Well done, everybody. Even Lambert. This is by Australia's great gift to the picture book world, Mem Fox. Where is the green sheep? It's sort of a book of opposites, as you'll see. Where is the Green Sheep? By Mem Fox, illustrated by Judy Horacek. Here is the Blue Sheep. And here is the Red Sheep. Here is the Bath Sheep. And here is the bed sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the thin sheep. And here is the wide sheep. Here is the swing sheep. And here is the slide sheep. Oh, that's a silly sheep. No, you skis on a slide. But where is the green sheep? Here is the up sheep. And here is the down sheep. Here is the band sheep. And here is the clown sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the sun sheep. And here is the rain sheep. Here is the car sheep. And here is the train sheep. Can you see the train sheep? Yeah, right behind the chicken and the dog on the train. But where is the green sheep? Still no green sheep. Here is the wind sheep. And here is the wave sheep. Here is the scared sheep. And here is the brave sheep. But where is the green sheep? Here is the near sheep. And here is the far sheep. I love this page. Here is the moon sheep, and here is the star sheep. So pretty. But where is the green sheep? Oh my goodness, there's sheep everywhere, aren't there? Riding bicycles. Well, there's a parachuting sheep. There's a flying sheep, playing in the sand, eating a birthday cake, fishing. Look at all those sheep. Where is the green sheep? Where is that green sheep? Turn the page. Let's take a peep. 
Here's our green sheep, fast asleep. It was behind a bush. As a matter of fact, you know what? If you turn to the very first page of this book, I think that's the other side of the bush. I think that sheep was hiding behind the bush all along. This is Where is the Green Sheep by Mem Fox. She has so many wonderful picture books on the shelf. I'd especially recommend if you like this one, look for Let's Count Goats. But we have lots and lots of Mem Fox books at the Alexandria Library. Did you like all that, Lambert? What? He especially liked the part where he got to eat the imaginary carrots, and he'd like some more now. So I'm going to have to go and feed Lambert, but it's time for us to say goodbye anyway. Thank you so much for being here with us today on YouTube. We hope we'll see you here again soon. And better still, we hope we'll see you at the library. Bye. Oh, Lambert says when you come to the library, bring lots more imaginary carrots. We love you. Bye. Say bye-bye. Good job, Lambert. Bye.